A month after unveiling the new dual motor and dual motor performance versions of the Model 3, Elon Musk confirmed that the first Tesla Model 3 dual motor performance rolled off the company's new assembly line in Fremont today. It included bringing up the new general assembly line that Tesla is building up under a giant new tent at the Fremont factory. While they are still working on increasing production, Musk has now confirmed that the line is up and running as it just produced the first Model 3 dual motor performance. We can see the red brake calipers and the new white interior, which is first only available with the performance version of the Model 3. The performance version features the same motors, AC in the front and permanent magnet in the rear, as the dual version, but they are picking the highest rated ones with double the burn-in process to make sure they can handle a higher output. Musk also said that the performance version will feature 20 inches performance wheels. He claimed it will be 15% quicker than the BMW M3 and with better handling, and will beat anything in its class on the track. Here are the other details of the Model 3 performance version announced last month. Range 310 miles. 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in 3.5 seconds. Top speed, 155 mile per hour. Price, $78,000 without autopilot. Musk hinted that the Model 3 performance version might see further increase in power output in the near future. Tesla is starting production of the new version of the Model 3 now and Musk said that the automaker will gradually increase production to reach volume by September. They started taking orders for both the dual motor and performance version last month. Many of Tesla's more than 450,000 Model 3 reservation holders had already delayed their orders in order to wait for those new versions of the electric vehicle. A month after unveiling the new dual motor and dual motor performance versions of the Model 3, Elon Musk confirmed that the first Tesla Model 3 dual motor performance rolled off the company's new assembly line in Fremont today.